Um, shoot, had a chance to watch the tape. Um, kind of like I said yesterday, you know, some good and bad, uh, some things we got to clean up. Um, but like the effort the guys played with and uh, really looking forward to this week, you know, getting Chicago in here for two days. Good two joint practices with them and then uh, playing on Saturday. So it'll be good with that. Uh, I'll start with questions. We'll start with Mike Chappell. Coach, when you when you take take these teaching moments, is it easier or better to teach the good or the bad? Which do players respond to? I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, obviously, the corrections are the biggest piece. You got to clean up what needs to be cleaned up. You know, there's always little things throughout the game, um, alignment stuff, technique stuff, um, but get those corrections uh, taken care of first and foremost. But obviously, praise them when they do a good job. You know, it's, it goes both ways. It's the accountability part of it. Um, and then we learn from those things. We grow from them, uh, coaches and players. In that regard, uh, after video review, what was your impression of uh, Anthony? Uh, similar to what I said after the game, you know what I really liked is the poise he had, um, the command he had. You know, you throw an early interception, how is he going to respond to that? And uh, I thought he responded tremendously. He came back, he had two good drives. Um, I thought he, I thought he did a really nice job for his first time out. Raven. Coach, a lot has been made about the rookies and how they were performing their first NFL action. But I mean, for you, yesterday was a first as well, your first game as an NFL head coach. So what was that experience like being the main guy on the sideline? Uh, excitement, just thankful and grateful for the opportunity to be out there and, you know, lead a group of men, obviously with everyone else and all the coaches and the support uh, that I've been given. Uh, it was exciting. It was exciting to go out there for the first time. I know it's preseason, but it was still fun. Um, always look forward to game day. I don't, you know, you never take it for granted. I'm just excited. James. Saying, how did you see number one, uh, Anthony just prepare for the moment? I know he got there super early, probably the first guy out. And then, and then number two, just mechanics wise, um, how was it just seeing him kind of get that first NFL rush and, and, and maybe teaching him or letting him know you can't like revert back to, you know, stuff you might've got away with in college. Yeah, no, I obviously I thought he was prepared well. Obviously, he got to the game uh, really early. You know, he was prepping, you know, uh, all week and ready for that thing. Um, there's always little things you can clean up, you know, mechanically. Um, and we continue to work through those things. But like I said, I, I was really pleased with the way he played, you know, really pleased. Um, he showed, you know, signs of, you know, coming along, uh, obviously, through training camp and then get his first game action out there with on the road uh, in Buffalo. Uh, it was good to see. He did a lot of good things. George, uh, with Blake Freeland, what did you see from him? You know, from the spring and the summer that gave you confidence that that he could uh, start this game, and then also how did he grade grade out on Saturday? Uh, he played good. You know, obviously it was his first game action, but you know he's a long, athletic guy that can move well. Uh, and to get him out there with the first unit to see where he was at, um, so, you know, things you know you got to learn from, just like with any uh, young player, um, but. Excited the way he played. Um, you know, I think he's got a real promising future here. Greg? Hey, Shane. Um, is Richardson starting against Chicago? And and really more to the point, I care more about the next question. Is he starting the season opener? And I got yeah, one more. Yeah, yeah. We haven't made that decision yet. Uh, we'll, we always talk through those things later in the week on, you know, who's playing in the preseason games. And then I haven't made a decision yet uh, on the starting quarterback. Ken? But I asked you also about your season opener. Yeah, I haven't made a decision on that. Oh, okay. Yeah, the yeah. other question is, it feels like you guys um, are waiting to see from Richardson as much as poise and if you think he can handle the moment. Like, we all know he's good enough to play eventually, but did he show you enough the other, last I mean, night he, that he can handle? Yeah, yeah, he did some good things. Like I said, his first game action in Buffalo on the road. Uh, in that environment, I mean, it was packed there for a preseason game. And just the poise he played with, uh, he knew where to go with the football. You know, like I said, we had that one first interception, and that's on me, coaches, myself. I, we got to do a better job helping him there, put him in those situations. Thanks, Greg. Ken, go ahead. Hey, Shane, uh, with the interception, Isaiah, during the TV broadcast, claimed responsibility that it wasn't on Anthony. Anthony claimed responsibility. You're claiming responsibility. How how did the thing break down specifically, and and how are all people guilty in in causing that? 
Yeah, I think that, you know, communication, it starts myself coaching, you know, putting them in those situations. You know, we had a run called and they brought an edge pressure that we, you know, we got to have an answer for. And we had, we just had a little miscommunication there and we got to put them in those situations and practice more. And that's why I say it starts with coaching. Um, I think it all starts with coaching when stuff like that happens. Uh, we got to do a better job uh, in those situations. How his recognition for a first time starter in a preseason, that kind of situation, how would you grade that? Uh, I mean, he knew there, he, we knew the situation when he brought it. We knew we had to have an answer for that. And just the way the coverage played out and how they matched it up and it was tight coverage. Um, we got to put them in that exact situation, you know, because we have those situations where it is, but it might be a little looser coverage. It was tight. The guy came down tight and there was a communication. We got to do a better job uh, in practice putting him in those situations. Yeah. Yeah, coach, was there anything else except for Luby's concussion? Uh, we, we were pretty clean. There was like little nicks, uh, but nothing serious, you know, nothing serious. One other thing, is there any update on, on Taylor? Will he be here this week or what, what can you tell us? Yeah, yeah, he should be back this week. Do I know the exact date uh, that he'll be back? No, but he should be back. And again, you don't know whether to expect him to practice. That's Yeah, exactly. Once the medical staff clears him, um, he'll be back out there. James? Shane, how would you assess just the running back performance yesterday? Obviously, uh, Evan Hull got the start. Deion Jackson had some good runs. What did you think of just what flavor they gave you in the backfield? It was good. It was a little bit of, you know, I thought Dion did a really nice job. Um, he had some big runs. You know, we had one an outside zone that he popped and the hole got kind of jammed up and then he bounced it around the edge, made a big play. Thought he ran physical, did a good job. And then Evan, his first game action out there, you know, I thought he did a nice job, cut a little screen, uh, hit one for, you know, a good 15 yard gainer, 10 or 15 yards. Um, and then Funk did a nice job and then getting Drake in there and Jason Huntley got a touchdown. Funk got a touchdown. Um, overall, it, it was good to see all those guys go out and compete. Raven. And coach kind of talking about rough first drives. I mean, that first drive for Garner wasn't that great either. Getting those back to back sacks ends up going three and out. Then very next drives go six for six leads you guys on a touchdown. Just kind of talk about his performance and what you saw from him yesterday. Yeah, no, shoot. He did a nice job. Obviously the first drive, you know, we had the two sacks there and then for him to bounce back, you know, and he didn't miss. Um, it was good. A veteran guy that's played, you know, knows how to operate the system, sees it, gets the ball out of his hands. Uh, he bounced back, had a great two-minute drive there at the end of half, uh, just operating that whole system. Uh, I thought he did a really nice job. And then just kind of switching things over to the defensive side of the ball, looking at the cornerbacks. I mean, Daryl Baker and Dallas Flowers get the start on the outside. What did you think of their performance? Uh, I thought they were solid. You know, those guys, you know, Dallas has played for a while, and Baker's been coming along, um, you know, excited about those guys. And then, you know, the young guys with Juju getting out there and, and Rush and Jones and Rush, you know, getting the interception. That was awesome to see that uh, when you can score on defense. Last question for Greg. Hey, has Lucas, um, H alphabet kicker, has he shown enough in practice to be competing with Gay for the job, especially in light of Gay missing that shot kick yesterday? Or is Lucas more as a project with his big leg? Yeah, yeah, we're just – Luke's came in, you know, obviously give us some depth there. You know, Matt is our kicker. Um, but, you know, like Luke, Lucas's ability, um, you know, he can – shoot, he can even punt if we need him to. But uh, I, I like Lucas, like where he's at. Uh, obviously, those guys know, you know, we got to be better there uh, in those situations kicking. But uh, excited about both those guys.